What is going on guys, Jay here from Legacy Vape Company, coming at you once again with another review, except this one's a little different. I normally don't get too excited over juice reviews, but when you're vaping on the Sad Boy Bloodline, this one in particular, this is one of my favourites, the Orphan Blood. Now, I have Never really done juice reviews, but I got super excited about this one and I thought I'd throw you guys a bone and tell you what it's all about. Um, orphan blood to me tastes like Skittles. So you get that real mixture of the fruity. It's not a mixed berry. It's a mixture of fruits. You get the hint of the citrus from like the orangey sort of flavor and the lemons, limes and all that sort of stuff. But then you get the raspberries, strawberry candy sort of hit to it so it's a real good blend of citrus and berry to give you that mimicking of skittles now i'm not sure if it's supposed to be skittles but that's what i get out of it um comes in a 60 ml bottle um we sell them here for 26 dollars but the flavor on them is absolutely phenomenal all the sad boy bloodlines are actually quite good um my next favorite would be the Punchberry Blood, is what it's called. But the flavor I get off of the Orphan Blood is absolutely awesome. I do need to read it, drip, which is going to be handy. Um, Punchberry Blood, another one. It is. I believe it's meant to be a raspberry candied pink lemonade. Um, hence the punch berry blood. But that real raspberry candy really does punch through in it, which is its redeeming factor other than it's just a pink lemonade. Now, that would be my favorite pink lemonade. Definitely my favorite pink lemonade. Um... Out of all the pink lemonades we stock, like if it's, you know, put it up against the Twisty Liquids pink lemonades, which I vape on a regular basis. I'm um, currently using that in my mouth to lung. Um, the iced, iced one is really, really good for mouth to lung. But the Punchberry Blood is really good sub ohm or rebuildable. It's got Heaps of flavor. It really, really shows that raspberry candy really, really well. And the orphan blood stacks up against it side by side. The punchberry blood and the orphan blood are the two of the best of the line. You do have the mango blood, which is quite nice. Again, it's more of that mango candy sort of taste. If you're after the natural mango, it's not quite on point with the natural one, but it does have really good mango sort of hits. So if you do like your mangoes, you'll probably enjoy that one as well. Strawberry blood, I did find had a real thick mouth feel when vaping. So it was like almost like a strawberry jam candy, so to speak. See, the orphan blood really just a whole line. Absolutely amazing, and that's why I'm telling you guys. I had to come up and tell you guys something. Obviously, you'll see on the Facebook page that I shared the Bloodline stuff about a week or so ago, and because I really do like it. So I'm going to start doing a few more of these, give you guys a bit of a rundown of what I'm vaping on, um, what the flavors are, what the profile of the flavor is, so you get an idea of what, you, what you're looking for in the flavor, and if it sounds like something you're interested in, We've got it in stock for you, which is awesome. Um, but yes, if you're going to give a recommendation on these, I'm going to give 100% yes. Do try them out. Um, if you like your candies and you like your fruities and all that sort of stuff, both the um, Orphan Blood and Punchberry Blood are going to be right up your alley. Uh, unfortunately, don't make them in a bigger bottle. If they made them in a 200ml bottle, I'd buy that. Because I will destroy 60 mils in two days. The only thing I can think of there that's slightly annoying with them. But um, flavor profile, 0 to 10, 0 being I wouldn't vape it if someone gave me 100 bucks to do it. Um, 
black collar. Um, Ten being that this is probably, if I was to die tomorrow and this is the last thing I vaped, I would be happy with it. I'm going to give it a good eight on the orphan blood. Maybe 7.5 on the orphan blood and, and an eight on the punchberry blood. The mango blood will go with 6.5 and the strawberries maybe a seven out of that whole line. Yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to average the whole line around about 7, 7.5, um, which is pretty good. Like if for a line to come out and be that high rated, for me, that's it's got to be a good line. Um, other lines like the Twisty Liquids, I wouldn't even rate that high as, as much as I love most of the flavors I vape from them. As a line across the board, there is way too many to choose from, and a lot of them, to me, I don't like, so they'll be rated in threes. I'm going to drop the whole rating down a lot. But we'll get to those as well, because there's a few flavors I really do enjoy, and I want to tell you guys about it. Candy Kings as well, there's a lot of flavors in there I really do enjoy, and I want to tell you guys about that. But there will be more lines. I'll try and do these once a week or so, unless I get a nice new mod in to, to show you guys. But thanks for watching, and... Until next time, keep it cloudy.